Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel and today I receive a new OTA update on my Honor V10 as you can see uh, it's a 6, 602 MB of update and it's a very big update they have provided many uh, features with this update so we will go through all the change log then we will install this particular update and we will see what are the new features that Honor has provided with this update so let's get started so guys as you can see this is the new update which is 602 MB size and the change log says that they have added a VOLT support for the Vodafone and it's a good thing and the very interesting is the face unlock and I'm really happy that I was actually waiting for the face unlock for this Honor V10 and it's come with this OTA update so it will be interesting to see how does and how quick it works with Honor V10 again they have added close eye face unlock prevention it's a very good thing intelligent screen on means when you are trying to look at your your device the phone will not switch off and it will use the front camera again they have improved the uh, background in the camera for the front again they have added ai motion for the camera and they have increased the resolution and enhancement in the camera ai zoom and google security patches so it's a very big update and on many features has been added so i will update this particular device and will come back once the update is completed so guys i have completed the update process and as you can see the patch level is 1st january 2018 and it's uh, latest build number and the kernel version so we will see the change log one by one let me go to the change log section i have captured the screenshot for the same and this is a big change log so the first change log is they have added the view lt support for the vodafone and unfortunately I am using the Airtel, I don't have the Vodafone network so I cannot be able to show you the VOLD support for the Vodafone but if you have a Vodafone network then you can try it out the next big thing is the face unlock so let's see that face unlock section let's go to the settings security and privacy face unlock and I have I already registered my face so you will see the two options direct unlock and slide to unlock so I have kept the direct unlock option and uh, let's see how does it works. I will turn off my screen and as you can see it's very uh, prompt. It takes some time but uh, yeah it's very prompt. Yeah, it's working fine and one more thing is uh, the motion uh, within the motion gestures. So when you keep the phone at the desk and when you try to pick up the phone it will automatically get unlocked using the face option so I will let you show when you pick up the phone it will just unlock your phone with the face option so this setting is available in the motions option in the smart assistance motion control pick up and you will find a wake up device you will need to enable this particular thing so that whenever you put your device on your desk or bed and then when you try to pick up that same device it will automatically get unlocked using the front camera as you can see it's very prompt so let me test the face unlock feature in the peach dark condition let me turn off the lights and as you can see let's see if it works or not yeah it's not working in the peach dark condition Uh, let me increase the brightness and see if it works or not maybe they need to implement something kind of like the oneplus have implemented yeah it's work when you increase the brightness of your device so they will i think they will push a new update like oneplus for the peach dark condition and other than that you have a front fingerprint scanner so you don't need to worry about it because you are already having the front fingerprint scanner so when you keep the brightness at 50% level it works in the peach talk as well and you do have the front fingerprint scanner so you will you can use this particular scanner during the peach talk condition now moving ahead with the next change lock close eye face unlock prevention so yeah it's uh, similar to the oneplus where if you close your eyes it will not detect your face so let me try one more time i close my eyes and as you can see it's not detecting my face and once i open my eyes it detects so it's a very good feature again this another feature intelligent screen on this is a very interesting feature and it keeps your front camera on until you uh, see your device so let's see let me show you the my current uh, display settings as you can see 
I have kept the 15 seconds sleep and now you will see I am looking at my device and uh, for 15 seconds it will not deem any device you can see it's still on so it's using the front facing camera to detect your eyes and it will keep the screen on it this feature was available in Samsung previously but then it's interesting to see whether it will consume the battery or not so you can see the device is still on it's past the 15 seconds so I will show you I will tilt the device and you can see the screen goes dim and it goes off so it's a very good feature intelligence screen on now for the camera section let's go to the camera front camera they have added the AR lens support so let me show you the front camera and when you go to AR lens you can directly add the effects over here or you can directly add the background over here so this is the one kind of uh, improvement they have provided the next uh, change log is AI motion detection this is for the rear uh, camera so that whenever any particular objects in the motion you can capture that particular object in the photo mode the next is the super resolution imaging and whenever you try to digitally zoom your camera it will not decrease the quality of the image so again it will be interesting to see in the outdoor condition how does it works and uh, they have increased the snapshot quality and google security patches so overall it's a good update for the camera section and for the face unlock patch face unlock section and for the google security patches and again for the board of unviewability so i will again compare this particular uh, face unlock feature with the oneplus 5 device in the coming section of this next video and uh, we will see how uh, the face unlock works on the both the devices with direct sunlight with indoor lighting condition or in the pitch dark condition and uh, everything so guys uh, that's it for now i will also test the battery life for this particular update because now it's using the front camera a lot for almost uh, for the face unlock and for the intelligence screen so it will try to consume the battery from the front camera so i will test the battery life also how does the battery life uh, goes on with this new update whether it's consume a battery life for the front camera or not so that's it for now if you like this video please hit like and subscribe to our channel we will see in the next upcoming video Thank you very much.